Maintenance crews have pumped out more than 11 million gallons of water to inspect and repair Chickamauga Lock on the Tennessee River in Chattanooga, Tennessee. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers National District empties the lock about every five years to fix cracks in the gates, repair struts that open and close the valves, and inspect areas in the culverts where water enters and leaves the lock chamber. Well, when they do are is locked, they're looking at uh, our miter gates that are up here on the upper end. They're inspecting those. They're looking at the coin blocks, the miter blocks, the diagonals, the structural side of the gate. They're looking for cracks that need to be welded or potentially fixed. This valve over here, this particular valve right here, has got uh, so much concrete growth in it that the side seals on the valves are squeezing together. So we have to go in and, and relieve the pressure so the valve can operate up and down to let the water in and out of the chamber. Mechanics are combing over the lock to pinpoint any components that are worn or in disrepair that normally are submerged by water. We're changing the anode blocks, them square blocks on the end of the gates. It's uh, basically to keep the gate from corroding as fast. Got to change them out every job because they're usually wore out by the time we dewatered every five years. A team of 41 maintainers are working two shifts to ensure the lock can safely support commercial and recreational traffic moving up and down the waterway. The lock is expected to reopen for navigation August 11. This is Lee Roberts reporting for the Nashville District at Chickamauga Lock.